Well, good morning, everybody. I just want to touch base quickly on some of these myths about the common cold. Well, as you can see on the screen in the bottom here, uh, the symptoms for a common cold are simply stuffy uh, or runny nose, uh, scratchy, tickly throat, sneezing, uh, watering eyes, low-grade fever, uh, sore throat, mild hacking cough, aching muscles and bones, and so on. The more I think about it, I think that that's old age. And what do you think? Maybe, well, no, it's common cold. Or maybe it's, <clears throat> you know what? Like Dr. Malone says, it could be the variant. Could be the virus. I don't know. But instead, let's just check out and listen to Dr. Malone, who is the inventor of the mRNA vaccination. <clears throat> Excuse me, I got a hell of a bad cough. Wait a minute, I just followed into the steps of that one category, cough. Hmm, should I get a PCR test? I don't know. Let's listen to Dr. Malone. This is actually a fantastic short little video clip that you might enjoy. The truth is it's the highly vaccinated now that are at highest risk for hospitalization, death, and significant disease from these escape mutants. Whoa, well, did he just say what I thought he just said? <clears throat> it's those already vaccinated that are the issue? Let's continue. The BA4 and BA5 Omicron variants. Um, he's fitting into the same pattern. We've seen it with multiple high-profile, highly vaccinated politicians, including, of course, Justin Trudeau and the uh, Governor Newsom of California. This same pattern again, again, and, and notably Mr. Fauci, of course, recently. Mm -hmm. this, these are all verifying what the data has shown from all over the world, that it's the highly vaccinated that are most susceptible to clinical disease caused by this these latest Omicron variants. How much more do I need to show, or do we need to show those deniers our so-called friends and family members who don't believe in any of this stuff. <clears throat> this is coming from a renowned doctor and scientist and researcher, Dr. Malone himself. It's undisputable. And yet these people who push these theory, like the politicians, for example, Justin Trudeau, he says, hey, um, we follow the science. We're really into the science. We follow that. And well, you know, show us the damn science. They can't because it's not actual science. <clears throat> it's what we call political science. And yet they deny it. And all us, anyone who's anyone with a common sense, a little bit of a brain, understands that it's political and nothing more, nothing less. Let's continue. So are you saying the guidance should change then, Dr. Malone? Just to be super clear here, what are you saying? The strategy of continuing to repeat what is not working and is which is driving this phenomena called immune imprinting is absolutely bad public policy. It's good financially for the vaccine companies. And in my opinion, the government has gotten too dug in on their policy positions and they're not able to pivot based on the data. But the data on immune imprinting are enormous. Multiple very high profile publications from very large teams in the top journals from all over the world. And the FDA and the CDC are pretending as if those data do not exist. It's amazing to me as I watch it. There you go. They pretend that the information, the real science, does not exist and they keep preaching the science follow the science follow the science it's like a freaking memorex tape recorder insane absolutely insane it's what's more insane is that people actually believe the corporations believe the mainstream news media they believe our political leaders who are born trained liars like justin castro joe biden and his clan total waste puppets and people they're, they're not leaders of countries what they are in my humble opinion is drug pushers drug publicators publicists drug pushers 
you know, it's amazing to hear it since you are sort of, uh, you know, the creator of this mRNA to get it direct from the. What do you mean? She said he's sort of the creator. He is the goddamn creator of mRNA vaccine. He's been on this telling people the truth, the reality, giving them a reality check from the very get go. Come on, Blondie. I like you, but give your head a shake source here. Another thing we want to ask you is about Biden's um, source of where he may have contracted this. He was just Well, he fell off the fucking airplane and he got it in, on the fly. In Israel, Saudi Arabia. Does it matter where he caught it? The White House is saying it doesn't. Wait a minute. It could be the time when he fell off the damn big bike. You remember that? He fell off a stupid bicycle? What a freaking moron. But for most of us... No Speaking of morons, here he is. Americans, we remember contact tracing, that it was so vital. Did he just do a bump? He copied Trudeau with a bump. What about the elbow? He didn't do that. He just went with a bump. Come on. Virtual signaling is... Uh... You know, we had to leave our phone numbers with people. What do you make of the White House sort of saying, we, we don't really know where he got it and brushing it aside, Dr. Malone? So Omicron is so incredibly infectious. It's akin to measles. In you, were, you know, we've all turned into epidemiologists now. Uh, the reproductive coefficient for Omicron is up around the level of measles. It's in the 10 to 12 range. The masks absolutely do nothing to stop this. Nothing will stop this, basically he said. And you know, when a variant or Omicron or virus goes, it mutates. And every time it mutates, it doesn't get more deadly, apparently, according to the scientists and what they say. It mutates and it gets weaker and weaker, but it may become a hell of a lot more infectious. But that doesn't mean it's going to kill you. Let's continue. Uh, the other, and obviously the vaccines are not stopping it. Bingo. Where's the band? Where's the who's playing the music? Where's the band? Bring out the band. The vaccines don't stop this variant or variants or this pandemic scary thingamajiggery political uh, virus. The infection from Omicron could have come to him from anywhere. It could have been through uh, an aerosol, through contact, and he is in touch with many, many people as you're seeing there in his behavior. It could have come from anyone. Again, this is a highly, highly infectious virus. Fortunately, it is not putting people in the hospital. Uh, we are not seeing our hospitals fill up. There was a, a New York Times uh, summary yet again today that verifies that this is not a scary virus. This it's not a scary virus, is what he said. TikTok, careful now. Don't you go and block me for this. This is what Dr. Malone, Dr. Malone, researcher and scientist, has stated. Not me. Them. I agree with them. But I didn't say it. And YouTube, no, no, no. Back off. Take your facts. Check your facts first. And if you're going to cut me off, you better cut off all the other mother effers who are actually publishing the same information, which I am. Let's continue. This is not something... If you get infected, if you the symptoms are those of a cold. They're Boom! Symptoms are those of a cold. Really? Let's see. Common cold. Stuffy, runny nose, scratchy throat, sneezing, watering. Hmm. I wonder. Let's continue. Is it a cold? Your sore throat, runny nose, a little bit of fever, those kinds of things. And if you're in a high-risk group, the best thing you can do is make sure you have a doc, a physician that will help treat you early just as the president has been treated and there are many many different agents that can be used to treat you the monoclonals paxlovid has many issues i personally i'm not a big fan but there are many other agents also so that's that's the news from all of us is don't be frightened by this uh, don't be frightened by this it won't put your six feet under, apparently. It will not. Not Don't listen to the politicians or the mainstream news. They're corrupt. They're absolutely corrupt. Shh, don't tell anybody. Uh, here we have a relatively um, elderly individual, uh, good body mass, but generally good health physically. And he is handling this just fine, and so will you. Dr. 
Everyone's handling it fine. And so will you. No need to continue any further. You've got about two minutes left on this video, but it's the same thing over and over. The facts don't lie. So I'm asking you to like this video I just posted. Like I'm just getting a little bit better on saying things on, on this sharing screen thing because it's all new to me. Look, I'm not a technical kind of guy. I don't know the first thing about editing. So I said this is the easiest thing that I could do basically without editing to go on into the te technical side of things. So if you would please subscribe and like this post so that every time you like it, it gets more attention. And I, we could share this information with other people who might be lacking this kind of information. So yeah, work together. Let's Let's pass it on, okay? I'm going to end it right now, and I wish you nothing but happiness, good luck, good health, and good fortune.